So, you've seen those long smoke lines in the sky and wonder what they are. Well, some may simply be just vapor contrails, but when you see long vapors, sometimes checkerboarding the sky you're under, they're known as chemtrails. Most people don't know that these trails are loaded with heavy metals and that they have been measured in the water and air at several different worldwide locations and are threatening the health of you, your family, and even the environment. To explain the difference further, Contrails are the result of a jet engine vapors condensing into tiny ice particles at high altitudes. They usually aren't very dense so they evaporate quickly. They never extend from one side to the sky to the other. Contrails aren't dense causing them to linger in the sky. They don't remain visibly seen, sometimes from horizon to horizon, or widening to form streaky clouds. Sometimes both contrails and chemtrails appear simultaneously, which makes it easier to differentiate. As some people around the world continue to report the chemtrails seen in their town or city to government agencies, the usual story is that they're part of a geoengineering effort to slow down the global warming. Or they are conducting military drills releasing streams of metallic particles to confuse radar. They are cover stories. But what are they covering and why? Mainstream media thoroughly ignores or debunks chemtrails and sadly, most congressmen are ignorant of the issue or afraid to ask questions, just like the media. The denial of something so big and so apparent is outrageous. Wouldn't you agree? Now that you know that chemtrails exist, it's important to recognize the danger and educate yourself further so you can educate those around you and we can work together stopping the small particles or nanoparticles of aluminum, barium, strontonium, and sometimes ethylene, dibromide, or EDB, often called dibromothane, an EAP banned fuel additive that has been coming up in samples worldwide from chemtrails. If you're new to all this, maybe even skeptical, start checking out those jet trails and simply notice and make note of the difference between contrails and chemtrails. You can Google chemtrails, aerosol spraying, or geoengineering for almost endless resource list of sites with videos and photos. And don't just read those sites stating that chemtrails are a conspiracy or don't exist. Start reading the other side of the story as well. It's important to look at everything from multiple angles to get a well-educated understanding.